This video is presented to you by www.testpreparder.com. Dear students, in the previous video session of solutions, I talked about Raoult's law. In that session, we have learnt that how to find vapor pressure for solution of two volatile liquids A and B, we have learned that vapor pressure of solution is equal to P naught A X A plus P naught B X B, where P naught A and P naught B are vapor pressures of pure A and B and X and B are the mole fractions, mole fractions of A and B in liquid phase please note in liquid phase now in this session we will learn mole fractions of a and b in vapor phase if you keep liquid at a particular temperature t you will get some vapors when i say x a and x b so x a and x b are the mole fractions in liquid phase now in vapor state again you will be having vapors of a and vapors of b it's a mixture so here if i say x dash a and x dash b so these are the mole fractions in mole fractions in vapor phase so in this session we will talk about these mole fractions my point is clear now to understand this or to find this, I will take a question here. This question says, vapor pressures of two volatile liquids A and B obeying Raoult's law are 200 and 500 torr respectively. So what is given? P naught A is given as 200 torr and P naught B is given as 500 torr. Now, uh, calculate the mole fractions of A and B in the vapor phase if the total equilibrium pressure of solution is 350 torr at the same temperature 300 Kelvin. So, first what will you do? Use Raoult's law. If I use Raoult's law, Raoult's law is valid for solution phase. So, I will write vapor pressure PS as P naught A X A plus P naught B X B. Now substitute values. P naught A is given as 200. I can write X A plus. P naught B is given as 500. X B I can write as 1 minus X A. Point is clear. Now what is PS vapor pressure of solution? It is given 350. I will substitute here 350. Now, if you solve, you will get 200 XA from here minus 500 XA plus 500. If you solve, it will be minus 300 XA plus 500 is equal to 350. This way, XA comes as, XA comes as 150, 150 upon 300. And the value comes as 1 by 2. So, XB will be 1 minus half means half. So, XA and XB we have got with the help of Raoult's law. Please note, XA and XB are mole fractions of A and B. But in liquid phase. In liquid phase. But question says we have to find mole fractions of A and B in vapor phase. So, for that, what will you do? Use Dalton's law. Dalton's law. Dalton's law says what? Partial pressure is equal to mole fraction into total pressure. Partial pressure is equal to mole fraction into total pressure. If I talk about A and B, in gaseous state, it is a mixture of A and B. So, if I say partial pressure of A, it will be mole fraction of A in the vapor phase. I assume that as X dash A into total pressure is what? Vapor pressure that is PS, vapor pressure of solution. So, 
H test A can be written as what? PA upon PS. And PA is what? Contribution of A in the vapor phase is this much. So, P naught A X A upon PS means P naught A X A plus P naught B X B. My point is clear. Now, in the same manner, in the same manner you can write X dash B that comes as P naught B X B upon P naught A X A plus P naught B X B. This is X dash B means mole fraction of B in the vapor phase. Now, P naught A we know 200. X A we know half. P S we know 350. If you substitute here, if you substitute it will be 200 into half upon 350. The value comes as 2 by 7. X dash A that is mole fraction of A in vapor phase comes as 2 by 7. And 1 minus of this will be 5 by 7. So, mole fractions of A and B in vapor phase will be, in vapor phase will be 2 by 7 and 5 by 7. Okay. Now, to understand this in a better manner, I will take one more question. This question says, two liquids A and B form an ideal solution. The vapor pressure of A and B at 100 degrees Celsius are 300 and 100 mm of Hg respectively. Suppose the solution is composed of 1 mole of A and 3 moles of B and the solution is heated at 100 degrees Celsius. The vapors above the solution are collected and condensed. The condensate is again heated at 100 degrees Celsius and vapors are again condensed to form a new liquid. What is the mole fraction of A in vapors of new liquid? Okay, so basically we are repeating the process. First of all, what is P naught A? P naught A is given as 300 mm of Hg. What is the value of P naught B? It is 100 mm of Hg. And the first solution, this, this actually here Xa will be what? 1 mole of A you have taken, 3 moles of B you have taken. That is why it will be 1 by 4. And Xb will be what? Xb will be 3 by 4. So, in the first case, in the first case, mole fractions of A and B in the liquid phase will be 1 by 4 and 3 by 4. This will help you in getting the vapor pressure. Vapor pressure, let this as PS. So, PS will be 300, that is P naught A into XA is 1 by 4 plus, plus P naught B is 100 into into Xb is 3 by 4, 3 by 4. This value comes as, this value comes as 150, 150 mm of Hg. My point is clear because here it is 75, here it is 75. So, 150 torr. Now, now, this is condensed into, this is condensed into liquid. So basically, first you get mole fractions of A and B in the vapor phase here. Same mole fractions will be here in the liquid phase because this vapor is condensed into this liquid. So basically, we have to get mole fractions of A and B here in the vapor phase. So X dash A will be what? P naught A X A upon P S. If I substitute, P naught A is given as 300. X A is given as 1 by 4 upon 150. This value comes as half. This value comes as half. So, X dash B will also be half. So, Whatever mole fraction we are getting here in vapor phase, 
same will be x dash a and x dash b same will be in this liquid are you getting my point so this liquid again vapors are formed let us say here mole fractions x double dash a and x double dash b now these vapors again condensed into liquid so whatever mole fractions of a and b in this vapor will be in this liquid again again here vapors are formed let the mole fractions as x triple dash a and x triple dash b actually in the question they have asked mole fraction of a in this new liquid means this has been asked x triple dash a my point is clear so what will you do x dash a x dash b we have already got so this can be considered as next case means next liquid x dash a x dash b new liquid so get the new vapor pressure let us say p a dash s that will be what 300 300 into 1 by 2 because now this liquid has 1 by 2 1 by 2 mole fractions plus 100 into 1 by 2 this value comes as this value comes as 150 plus 50 means 200 mm of hg this is 200 mm of hg so what will be x double dash a it will be p p not a x dash a upon p dash s and that will be 300 into half upon 200 and this value comes as this value comes as 3 by 4 3 by 4 and same way you can get x double dash b that will be 1 minus 3 by 4 means 1 by 4 my point is clear so now we know x double dash a as 3 by 4 and x double dash b as 1 by 4 these mole fractions will be in this liquid now when this liquid here vapors are formed we have to find x triple dash a so for this you get the p s means let us say p double dash s so it will be what p not a x a plus p not b x b but x a x b now will be x double dash a and x double dash b so it will be 300 into 3 by 4 plus 100 into 1 by 4 this value comes as 250 mm of hg now x triple dash a will be what p not a x double dash a upon p double dash s if you substitute values here p not a as 300 and x double dash a as x double dash a as 3 by 4 and p double dash as 250 then it comes as 9 by 10 9 by 10 so here it is 9 by 10 9 by 10 so x dash b will be how much 1 by 10 so these are the mole fractions of a and b in this new case my point is clear so this question is a very very good question in the exam they may ask uh, answer for the second case only but this question is more complicated here the answer was asked for the third case similarly they may ask for fourth case and accordingly you can solve my point is clear now i will summarize whatever we have done in this session if a solution of two volatile liquids a and b given then x a x b are the mole fractions of a and b in liquid phase and x dash a x dash b are the mole fractions in vapor phase and that is found with the help of formula p naught a x a upon p naught a x a plus p naught b x b and 
x dash b can be written as p not b x b upon p not a x a plus p not b x b. So this way we find mole fractions of components in vapor phase. My point is clear. Thank you. This video is presented to you by www.testpripadda.com. Testpripadda.com provides free audiovisual lectures of different subjects by expert faculties, free online tests prepared by expert faculties to students who are preparing for engineering or medical entrance exams or planning to take exams like KVPY, Olympiad, etc. It provides a platform where students can interact with mentors to improve their performance in the exams. The mission of this online medium is to help students to achieve their goals. Log on to www.testpripadda.com to watch free video lectures on different topics, to download free revision notes, to take free chapter-wise online tests, progressive test and mock test, to discuss doubts with mentors. Thank you for watching the video. To stay up to date with the latest videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on our Facebook page, Test Prep Adda. All the best.